Hi Bruce from Safari and we're on this uh, Hooker 6.7 here and what we've done on this boat, there's the Minn Kota 36 volt running there now and it's running on setting uh, 10. The way we have this set up is we've got three um, 12 volt batteries in series under here, the one up over there and that's producing the 36 volt and then on the side here we've got Scotty there, the orange box in the middle is uh, doing power transfer from 12 volt to 36 volt and when we start up in a minute you'll see the contribution from the engine here coming in so it will do 12 to 36 volt from the engine and above there you'll see the Victron 12 volt charger on shore power he plugs that in that fills in on the 12 volt side of Scotty and it charges now this is bi-directional so when we switch the engine off the power then flows from the 36 volt back to the 12 volt so there's no 12 volt house battery on this boat we've set this up with two starter starter batteries at the front and the, the twin fuses you'll see over there, 36 volt, and the single is 12 because we've got solar on the top, which is the feed in on the second mega fuse there. But uh, let's have a look as when we take a run. We're just uh, cruising along here slowly, and the uh, we're charging at 500 watts at the moment. And we're going to drop the uh, Minn Kota in the corner. Board here with uh, Judd. Morning, Judd. How are you? And the sun's come out. Hallelujah. Uh, we've got the Minn Kota 36 volt here, so here's some interesting data. We've got this on max power setting, 1765 watts. So for the Minn Kota 36 volt users out there, I actually saw it was up to 1859 before. Setting 10. Now, do you want to take it back? What's, what do you normally set it at? I normally run it five. Five. So we're going to run it back to five now. And as that comes down to five, we'll see what the load is that drops here. 480 watts, somewhere around there. Uh, that's use. Now, if the engine was idling, it will uh, deliver here very close to that. So let's just have a look. Yeah, see, it's it'll come back up. Now, the amount of power we're taking out is varying a bit. We've now retracted the uh, Minn Kota, and you can see now what's happening on Scotty here. You'll see a positive number here, 79 watts. So we've got 79 watts flying out of the 36 volt side. And that's going in the 12 volt side, running the uh, sounder here. And uh, we're gonna start up, so let's start up. You'll see that there was a big surge of positive power there going into the starter battery. And now the negative number here, you can see the charging here, is that's what we're doing at idle. Now what Scotty does is it won't in any way damage the alternator in the boat. It releases it at idle if the voltage drops below a set point, and I've set that at 13 volts. So uh, let's take off. back into our uh, landing place and uh, so we're still doing the 495 watts at a what speed are we running at the moment? Six? Uh, uh, what are we at? We're at a thousand rpm. A thousand rpm there we're still pulling 500 watts out of the out of the uh, alternator on the Yami 250 and that's pretty normal they, they ramp up pretty quickly and then they stay there they just flat line in terms of the performance coming out. But a big feature of Scotty here is that uh, at idle here, it won't pull down the um, alternator at all. It won't pull down the, uh, the the engine, the EFI. So I've got this set at 13 volts. So there's always, always going to be 13 volts at the engine and at the electronics. And we can adjust that. I can set that to virtually any value. That's a lot of fish here. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. On that jump up. 